Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are the New York Samba School, <coughs> run by Carlos de Oliveira. And we are here to present a short program uh, which is rooted in Afro-Brazilian uh, music traditions, uh, specifically focusing in on percussion. Uh, the name of the program, Sanzala, uh, basically describes in colonial times where there were masters and slaves, and the slaves were um, basically uh, organized themselves, where they would share their ideas and develop music, and it basically speaks of when poverty and desperation yield something joyous and very festive. The thing about the Sengzalas and the slavery, which brings a very uh, sad memory to a lot of people. Um, it's also very important to the Brazilian culture in general because this is what we call um, the birthplace of our culture in Brazil. In the Sengzalas, where the slaves were kept, they were creative enough to basically develop very strong, very powerful culture that was expressed in several different layers in the society, which today we see throughout the samba, also culinary, you see like Brazilian uh, famous dishes, such as the feijoada, for instance. Um, they also had to conceal uh, religious beliefs in the, in the senzala, so they expressed a lot of this <coughs> through rhythms and singing. Uh, fight, uh, they had to conceal throughout moves, such as dance, like what we know today as capoeira, for instance. And so, in the Sinzalas, very special things were created that, that, that now defines the culture of Brazil. And we are going to play one of the very root rhythms uh, that they developed, which is Samba de Caboclo. tradition 
to a, some more contemporary rhythm, which you guys probably will you know, recognize. Jackson, um, 
uh, and other you know, American musicians, I forgot the name. But we're gonna be beatboxing before, right? <laughs> How it goes? Thank <laughs> you.